So here I am at the uh, compost structure, like giving it a sort of a, a top-down view of the three rooms. Each room, if I remember, was about five by about 1.5, five meters along by about 1.5 um, with a retaining wall there. And we always have one batch of compost uh, that's cooking at any time. How do we make compost? Everybody knows the difference between compost and manure, right? So, in case you've forgotten, the difference is that manure comes out of something. In our case, we use chicken manure. It comes from uh, various places uh, that do chickens, and then we use it as our source of nitrogen. And compost is a well um, decomposed mixture of uh, organic material and a bit of soil and stuff and that's what we use uh, in the in our fields now especially with the rising cost of um, rising cost of, of fertilizer we need to do a show about the rising cost of fertilizer an episode and just show you how much fertilizer has risen in cost over the last uh, maybe, you know a couple of year or a year or so yeah so um, you've got three rooms here one two three and uh, it's going to be a roof coming on before the rainy season. We didn't want to waste, uh, put money towards uh, putting a roof down while it's still okay. Hence why we use the uh, tarpaulin mats there. These things are very interesting. This is where we make our manure tea. So they're full of water and then we put in a sack of uh, uh, manure. And then we're basically dissolving it and then we come out from here with the, the thing that comes out the liquid very strong nitrogen mixture we then mix it up and we uh, were able to uh, pour it into the into the crops use it well into the crops to help us fertilize our crops okay continuing the tour of this place with the uh, very strong thing right now this is room three. Uh, room three, of course, there's room one, which is currently being, it's just starting. Literally, we're waiting for chicken manure, uh, which we've been promised. It's supposed to be coming. There was an issue with being two Kalundus, but that's a story for another day. So here's some lettuce that uh, we couldn't sell during the lockdown because all the restaurants were closed. So the lettuce came and was composted here. Farmers often do that. You gotta make the best use of what you can. Room one and uh, room two is uh, a mixture that's halfway done. Actually, we're turning it uh, earlier this morning. So this is now nicely turned. Let's continue to decompose. And room three was our most recent newest addition. So we do one, two, three, one, two, three, and we keep the cycles going. We had finished what was in room one uh, a few weeks ago, and we put it as base into our uh, into our into our into our vegetable beds. So here we have covered it up, and it's cooking, generating an intense. Aish, I can actually feel the heat as I uh, put my hand down here. That's something serious rather nicely strong pungent aroma you can see some of the uh, excess liquids uh, coming up the bottom there as well so that's a quick look at our compost facility um, a lot of the research was done on YouTube and of course online and online sources but uh, I'm quite proud of it and it is a major part of the farm in terms of producing some of the you know, being able to produce some um, organic fertilizers that we can then use here, both for cost purposes as well as for environmental purposes. So you've got your one, two, three rooms making compost. And then here, of course, we we have the manure that we, we always make a batch of manure. On the other side, sorry, I forgot, almost forgot to mention, that's a heap of leaves uh, that we get from uh, various other properties that we have. Lots of trees shedding leaves, especially uh, around about winter time, going into the spring, summer. And then, of course, that's where we heap the, the chicken manure when it, when it, when it comes. There's just a little bit left, and that's not enough to start room one. So 
we're waiting for the next shipment, which should be coming in, I think, tomorrow. So, stay tuned to the uh, Mondo Farms YouTube channel. Uh, it's always so good to have you uh, here with us. Please like and subscribe so that you let uh, you know, let us know how you're, you're thinking about what we're doing and the things that we show. What would you like to see more of uh, as we continue with the uh, farm story here at Winterthorn? We're right here at the Emerging Zambian Farm doing things seriously, doing things the way we were learning how to, having a hell of an enjoyable ride. Uh, this crazy farming journey. See you soon. Bye. Bye.